Hello, my friends. This is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And today uh, we have Natty Beats, uh, Natalia Betty um, here. And we will be talking and uh, channeling on light language and light codes. Right. And uh, so first of all, uh, Natty, can you describe to new viewers here, you know, who are you? What do you do? Am I in the least amount of sentences possible? Um, hey everyone, I'm Natty Beats. I am a psychic healer, spiritual teacher, and business coach. Uh, the two main ways that I help people at the moment is helping them with their own psychic abilities and helping them uh, use those psychic abilities to build an amazing business that impacts the world. So I'm super, super passionate about helping other light workers um, look after the world whilst they're also looking after themselves. Self care is really important. Um, and I'm also a channel. This is something that has come about in the last year and after a lot of integration over the last few weeks I've been channeling the Arcturians, the Lemurians and a whole load of light language. You may have seen the other video with Wolfgang. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. There is lots of different light language on there. It's a really, really good video. Lots of healing goodness. Um, yeah, so I'm just pretty much here to explore with Wolfgang all of this new amazing craziness coming through because it's stuff that although it's coming through directly to me I have little understanding of and I think we as a collective humans have little understanding about light language and light codes and what they are and where they come from so we're hoping to help share some knowledge on that today with the help of whoever's going to come through and chat through me. <laughs> right and here we go to who is me and uh, this time uh, I will be doing with Natty, you know, what I generally uh, be doing with my clients, you know, day to day. Uh, I get my clients into touch with their high self and other divine beings. And then we ask questions and get insight and healing. Uh, so today we will be asked questions for the benefit of all. <laughs> so... Uh, the other task is to set the energy and uh, I'm the battery, you know. <laughs> so yep. otherwise, you know, um, Natty could be maybe, you know, channeling for 20 minutes. Now we may be extending this to an hour or longer, you know, until we're all blown out. <clears throat> so uh, anyhow, you know, I asked a question and I work like a spiritual contractor. I do not do generally the healings with my own energy. You know, I just ask divine beings and they do the job. Uh, my clients are from all cultures, you know, all religions all around the world. I mean, really, it's uh, <laughs> from all around the world. And so now that's back to uh, Nati here. Let's, uh, our intent this year um, that we will bring in uh, awareness um, about uh, light language, around light codes. And there we also channel um, light codes that will be for the benefit of everybody at the end of this uh, session, you know, and I made sure it covers, you know, a range um, purifying, you know, pretty much a, a lot of things. You know, it will be very good and you should know or feel the difference before and after. Right, so Natty, uh, are you getting ready? Um, punching up? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm buzzing. We did a lot of uh, protection before we came on, didn't we? We always do lots of protection, set our boundaries, get our energy up, make sure that there's nothing attached to us. That's what Wolfgang leads me through before every session to make sure that I am nice and safe while I'm doing this work, which is super important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, and security is uh, most important. <clears throat> yeah. We're not doing VG boards <laughs> and get possessed. <laughs> you uh -huh. know, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. And I mean, and people that watch my meditation, my God, a meditation, they, they know that we are always set in some pretty heavy duty protection. Here. So let's just uh, see. Um, so who is, uh, who am I talking to now? Is this the Lemurian Collective? So, well, no one yet, because we haven't called him in. We've got to call him in. So All right, let's you call him in then. On, um, it would be dependent on the question that you ask. So whatever the, whatever the question is, I'll know it's like they come through and then I say, who's this that wants to talk? And then they tell me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's uh, do this. And 
Well, first of all, let's ask them um, from which uh, dimension, um, you know, on a 12 dimensional universe, let's say right now we're going from the third, you know, being in 3D space, you know, to the fourth, to the fifth dimension, the fourth dimension being the astral plane. And let's consider the 12th dimension, you know, where source is or where you get an art of material creations altogether. Um, so from which dimension um, does this collective come? Uh, which which collective? The Lemurians? Yes, correct. You see, my high self's all like, hi, I'm ready. Okay. Now she is here, I can feel her presence. Mm. <laughs> 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 We are those few beings who actually happen to span many dimensions, just as you humans span many dimensions and can access many dimensions. Indeed, especially those of you who have the so-called psychic connection uh, uh, so far in this time space. Um, we also are able to span through many different dimensions uh, and it depends on our individual jobs and our individual natures, depending on which dimension we choose to exist and at what time. So really, we do not exist within one dimension. Well, yeah, so do we humans not. But right now we are residing, let's say, between third, fourth and fifth dimensional consciousness. So where do you mostly reside? between the 7th and the 9th. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask specific <laughs> questions. <laughs> they like to talk. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason I'm the channel, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> so let's just uh, get right. Um, so uh, to the components of human language. Right? So there seem to be two components, you know, the pure sound that is being emitted like ah, ooh, ah, da, 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 you know, this kind of stuff. And uh, probably this has an effect, you know, through resonance and little jolts, you know, that it does on the subtle body. Yeah. And uh, but then there's also a symbolic component, you know, to those sounds you know, like dog you know, or God, you know, God is something you can't even touch or is everything. You know? And so there is a symbolic thing attached, you know, like for instance, triangle may mean danger in traffic signs. Yeah. And um, so there is a claim uh, that uh, some languages like Hebrew, like Sanskrit, and maybe Chinese, you know, and uh, some of course have been omitted, so are divine languages, you know, that the sound itself also represents the thing that it describes on a vibrational level, you know, uh, more than, let's say, profane language. And uh, there are probably different sounds for uh, the same thing, like tree. But could you please, you know, um, explain how light language fits into this construct? You know, is it the symbol meaning? Um, is it the, the sound pulsing that works and affects our subtle body? my neck doing <laughs> yes <laughs> just that little dance um <laughs> oh i'm so glad they make me laugh so much um yeah so uh, what you are uh what we believe you are asking about is is the different elements of light language uh such as resonance and and indeed phonetics oh my god um uh so the the two compartments that make up the whole and turn into the language that is channeled through someone. Is this uh, is this correct? <laughs> exactly, you know, and we want to like pick it apart, you know, how it compares to other talk types of language, you know, so to give a deeper understanding. So for instance, uh, you know, you can talk to a dog and somehow the dog seems to understand the meaning. So we may be the dogs when light language is talking. <laughs> it's told us, you know. So, but then what is the difference in English, for instance? You know, they both have meaning. So, how is light language superior? 
Light, light language ca carries with it very strong light codes. It has a very different energetic signature to those earth languages uh, that you speak of before. There is, of course, different vibrations within the languages. As you mentioned, some languages uh, may have a higher natural resonance and therefore stronger energy and be able to uh, make somebody feel a, a higher vibrational level of energy but with light language it is the purest form of light codes it is the purest form of energy in which information is carried whether it is to heal whether it is to bring information from um uh, plants trees from creatures from humans it is the purest form of language so instead of speaking to someone with your earthly <laughs> with your earthly mouth terms you are speaking to someone for example from your soul or from the truest part of yourself this is why it does not need to be understood under excuse me understood within phonetics as do, does something like the English language. Mm -hmm. So this would be in a way, yeah, like talking to a dog, but then with a very nice vibration. So <clears throat> um, now, uh, generally, I prefer, you know, to run love with trees and other beings instead of like singing to them, you know. So and I'm quite sure that in running love uh, back and forth that there's light codes being you know, uh, exchanged. So uh, would this be sufficient in itself or, um, you know, um, any channel, <laughs> like, you know, we have many communication channels, you know, even in technology, uh, like phone and internet so, and so on. So uh, how is light language different than running energy and love with um, entities? As you said, they are they are both light codes. You are indeed correct. And it actually does not matter um, whether you channel through light codes within light language. Uh, as we mentioned in Natalie's previous video on the seven types of light language, light lang uh, sorry, light codes can come through in many different forms. They can come through on the smile on someone's face. They can come through on seeing a cute little puppy in the street. And they can come through, as you said, from your heart space. They can come through when you are channeling and doing healing with your hands. Some people channel them into art, some into music and some into language. Language is just a concept that we are bringing forward to help many, many, many people on this earth that they may find more accessible, a more accessible way of transferring energy and moving energy around. Some of the more old school psychics and healers um, are more used to using energy, moving energy around more traditional ways with their hands and with their heart space. As we are coming into this new age and this new space on earth, more and more and more people are going to have access to this energy and light codes and light language is just simply an easier way for them to do so without having to learn the full uh, or the full scope of moving around energetics with your body and with your heart space as sometimes it may take a long time for human beings to get to this level. I have to agree with this, um, you know, once it comes in, I have to admit, uh, last night uh, when I took a bath, uh, I started, um, you know, inspired, you know, from your channeling, um, I started, uh, you know, doing light language for myself. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and, uh, uh, but then now we're coming, so, uh, you know, and we're going to be having this, you know, these channelings at the end of the video. Um, <clears throat> Um, in, uh, we had this also in the previous videos that you, you know you were channeling all kinds of different light languages, you know, uh, like throat singing and, and on and on. I mean, at least about five. You know, I had another client inspired actually by this video, seeing you, started doing a <coughs> clicking. Uh, you know, as African, she was African, and you know, and it works. I mean, I can feel it in my subtle body. So, um, you know, this this stuff works now I, uh, I have yeah. clients this is Nat Natalie speaking by the way <laughs> I have clients <laughs> just, just in case um I have clients that 
uh, have I'm teaching how to open up the psychic channel and stuff, and they have had light language come through their hands, like the movement as well, come through, um, and light language come through speech, and even people drawing light language before anything really else has opened in their psychic channel. So they're not yet able to receive full psychic messages like clairvoyance, clairaudience, all of that but they can channel light language. So it resonates with me as well in that it's something that's more accessible. Yeah, so it seems to be, you know, good beginner stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, um, okay. So now, um, how does the meaning, you know, the effect of a trans, uh, of uh, light language, you know, compare to trans channeling? You know, where we still, there are probably light codes coming down um, through people. And uh, what it's certainly in English or in a language that can be understood. Um, could you please make this clear to our audience? So, do you mean the light, the effect that the the light language and the channeling is having on others, or having on the person doing it? Both of them. You right. know, I mean, for instance, we have, and, and you know, we have trans channeling, we have speaking in tongues, we have mantras, we have reciting scriptures like Sanskrit. You know, we have different levels. You know, of uh, you know, light language coming mm -hmm. through and i'd just like to have a little bit more discrimination so you know we like to put it into certain boxes <laughs> as humans yes. so mm -hmm. we have transcending versus light language right now King. <laughs> you do love your boxes <laughs> natalie loves boxes she puts everything in boxes and lists all the time and we think it's very funny <laughs> and, <laughs> trance channeling and light language so trance channeling and light language are just both different types of light codes they are just different both different types of transferring light codes so for example trance channeling may be an example of uh, light codes of the past we may trance channel our spirit guides who are quite often past incarnations of ourselves we may trance channel uh, beings from other dimensions that again are connected to past incarnations or connected with our soul light language and light codes of the soul may also come through in trance channeling whereas light language is a specific a tool or medium, if you will, in in how to take those codes from one place to another. So, for example, light codes of the soul, we may ask a past incarnation to come through and channel through us. Indeed, Natalie right now is using light language of the soul to channel us through, along with light codes of the light codes of the spirit to channel us and when she channels other beings. But you could also ask her, for example, to bring through light language of the soul, and it would sound very different to these human words, but it would still emit the same sort of a light codes. One difference that Natalie is indeed noticing between trance channeling and uh, also direct channeling that she does where um, we talk to her first and then she talks the words out as she was a little bit scared of trance channeling when we first asked her so it's been a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this is a lot more tiring to the human body. She is finding that she is a lot more uh, sleepy. She's having a lot more of that uh, dark stuff sifted up and having to process layers and layers of trauma and emotions, whereas light language is a lot softer. It is definitely more, more for, as you say, more for the beginners, although it's not just beginners because everyone can do light language, whether you've been a psychic for hundreds and hundreds of years or whether you've never done any of this. This is the beauty of light language. You can just tap in and see and see what comes through. And light language, as it does have the word light in it, it makes you feel lighter. It can make you feel um, a little tired at first if you are accessing languages that you've never accessed before. Like Natalie, when she brought through, uh, when you guided her to bring through light language from all those different, amazing different places and lots of ancient times, she was very, very tired after this. But just doing her normal light language of the self and light language of the soul, she feels fantastic after afterwards so there can be a very a difference in the energy used within the human body is, is what we're trying to say <laughs> thank you so much very nicely concisely said um how about uh, light language versus mantra you know like a mantra like om namah shivaya or you know anything like this or even the the jesus prayer or the um let's say mother mary the rosary um how does light language compared to um, those kind of mantras and pre-formulated prayers. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> we, like, we like your words, Wolfgang. Thank <laughs> you. Prayers. That, that, that's a lovely sentence that rolls off the tongue. Reformulated prayers. <laughs> 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 packaged <laughs> package in ten. <laughs> sorry carry on um yes so so mantras and light language so you see mantras are actually just kind of different types of light, light language that have been botched together from humans humans have um been able to access light language for hundreds of thousands of years but we kind of lost the ability along the way so some people their inner knowing uh, from light language started to come through and instead of channeling the light language through uh, some people did channel the the mantras and the, the the prayers that you speak of but a lot of it is is humans just smish smashing a bitch botching things together that feel good for the soul that are a resonate with the soul that lift your vibrations much like light language does so it's a, a kind of a, a, a manufactured version of light language if you will um to come through we'll see who we'll see who wants to come through <laughs> no we ask uh, the highest the most knowledgeable you know with the most benevolent you know best understandable message for humanity for those people that are going to be watching this to come through what is the mm -hmm. word i keep getting this word in my head what is a bhag bhagavati bhagavati bhagavad gita um yeah this is what is that um just while you were saying that i literally just kept it's like they're showing me the word bhagavad gita yeah this is the holy scripture of india basically where krishna explains to arjuna that we are eternal beings that we change bodies like people stage cars that we reincarnate, you know, about karma, about the over soul and our individual soul, that there's a soul in everything. You know, it just gives them like the, uh, uh, you know, the skinny on spirituality. They're, they're saying, <laughs> ask the scripture. This is scripture, yeah. This are it's like the Bible. They're, they're, yeah. saying, they're saying, ask the scripture, as in, like, ask the actual scripture. Well, uh, they have consciousness, I would say. Is that, I'm like, is that thing? <laughs> oh, no, no, ask, ask whether they mean, you know, that the scripture itself, like the Bhagavad Gita, has its consciousness of its own. Yes or no? I'm getting a yes. <laughs> now, is the Bhagavad Gita in its Sanskrit form, you know, a light code? Yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. is it, has it been contaminated in some way, you know, by the dark side? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, how much uh, is the contamination? Do you know? I mean, how many percent? Huh? It's, meant, it's not meant to be contained. It was never meant to be contained in the way that it's been contained. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> yeah, let's say who is talking there, mm -hmm, please. Uh, see, now I don't, I, I got lost. And, that, and yeah. I don't, I don't. Can we check on that, please? Who is who is this? I got Lord Shiva. I don't think yeah, I can do yeah. that, can I? Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I can't do that. I love Lord Shiva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he comes through. Mm -hmm. Send a lot of love to him. Smile, don't embarrass me. <laughs> Just pump in as much love from heaven and earth into your heart and send it to him. The light codes were never meant to be contained in the scripture. Uh -huh. Humans did wrong by trying to contain them. By containing okay. them, it took away some of their power. But, but then it would have been lost, you know? If it's not recorded, it just gets lost with memory. We understand we. I don't know who, we, I don't know who else is there. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry, carry on. We understand that this was unnecessary as the humans have lost so much natural ability over time to access these light codes and that they needed to be recorded. But we are simply asked, answering the question of whether or not they were sabotaged and have lost uh, some of their power. It's lost some of their power. Is there still benefit um, for people to, uh, you know, read these or recite these besides you compare to uh, let's say mundane literature there is still benefits but we would prefer people to go to the direct source and now bring through their own light codes as they have so much more power mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much. Um, how uh, does light code compare to speaking in tongues? You know, in certain Christian religion, people speak in tongues. Is this the same? It's a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> tongues it does not. Tongues does not always come from a good place. Tongues can sometimes be a form of psychic attack, and um, entities, entity removal. So it's like. It's like they're half talking and I'm half talking because <laughs> I don't recognize the energy. Mm -hmm. This is what she was talking. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how do we know that there is a good entity or versus a you know negative entity coming into us? Sorry, Lord Shiva's gone. I'm bringing in the Arcturians again. <laughs> thank, yes. you, thank, mm -hmm. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Shiva. It's, uh, it just, for anyone listening who's being like, why did you send away Lord Shiva? I didn't send him away. I am still a beginner at this trance channel stuff. And it's very, it's kind of difficult when a, when a new energy comes through. It In your physical body, it can feel a little odd. Um, and it, it my human brain gets in the way a little bit sometimes. So <laughs> yeah, I know. stick to comfortable. I'm very, very grateful that he's getting through, but we'll stick to some comfortable energies. So let's. I'm just going to call on the Arcturians to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are here. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, carry on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, how does light language compare to, let's say, I've been, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this? Speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, you know. Okay. Oh, funny humans. We do like you funny humans and you're talking talking around in tongues and, and tongue tongue twisters. Humans also like tongue twisters. Humans like a lot to make up a lot of sounds and again mishmash them together. So tongues, again, tongues is something that comes from many different places, just like light codes come from many different places. Some are positive, some are negative. Um, you would find it hard to find a negative light code. Uh, I would add also that tongues is almost like a corrupted version of these light codes, of this light language that humans have taken and changed and 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 mashed about a bit. <laughs> yeah, they have to just go through the higher vibration, I would say, you know, to get the real thing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I would say let's just get down to this here. And, you know, uh, last time, you know, you... Uh, this will be at the end, you know, you talked about the seven light codes, different light codes, not light language again. And so, well, in my opinion, <laughs> you know, everything is code, right? I mean, DNA is code, you know, mathematicians see the world as code, you know, naturalists see mm -hmm. the code, you know, the divine geometry everywhere. And of course, IT programmers, you know, um, do code. And since we now computers, we have a different conception different concepts about how human consciousness works, yeah. right? I mean, it really affects your awareness. You know? So uh, how do light codes, this is about you know, an education on light codes for our listeners. How do our light codes, you know, compare to chi, prana, you know, or even jyoti, you know, spiritual light? <clears throat> they are all one and the same thing. So light codes is just a word that we use to describe the different types of energy. And although Natalie brought through the seven different types of Lemurian light codes, this was just a construct created for her and for the collective to better understand light codes. There are an infinite number of different types of light codes, many, many, many more than a human brain could understand. It would spin your little heads off, oh, off, off the hair. <laughs> 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 um, but <laughs> sorry, we ask you. We ask you to repeat the question. Natalie's laughing got in the way. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> uh, this is a question, you know, of how would you describe to us humans, you know, these uh, type of of codes you know i mean i don't think people see themselves as programs and maybe the movie matrix made yourself see as programs you know in, in in hinduism you know you consider a conditioned soul right like you know any military conditions they are uh, military they're soldiers you know to, to, to you know so we are conditioned to function in certain roles as a mother father 
and so on. Uh, so explain us a little bit more about those codes. Humans have a very, very uh, broken understanding of the word codes. It has come to take on a very, very negative connotation. We are talking when we are talking about light codes. We are certainly not talking about anything that is contained. We are talking about things that free flow and are as infinite as the universe. We have tried to contain them within these earthly words so that you may understand them better. And uh, it's interesting that you mentioned the the Matrix movie. Uh, Natalie and uh, several of her clients have actually compared the physical seeing of light codes when we have psychic visions come through and you see light codes in the air of that of the green codes that run through the matrix <laughs> we would like to we would like to let you know that they are um they are not uh they are not a similar thing these codes do not come from any computer or indeed uh, are not created with any of your earthly technology and they are not made for any sort of control. We we do not wish to control anyone on Earth. Everybody has free will. Everybody has free energy, free energy dispersing all around the place, all around the Earth, all around the universe, all around your soul. Free, 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 free. This is what light codes are. So we would invite everybody who, who is hearing us talking right now to please recondition yourself of the word uh, of codes and come to think of it in a better light when we are talking about light codes. Of course, the, the, the clue is in the name. It is light. It is light codes. So yeah, it looks like, oh yeah, I just turned my camera off. Um, so it looks like um, light codes are like keys, you know, like programs, again, keys and programs in the matrix that uh, are like drain cleaners or fertilizers that uh, can uplift or will uplift, you know, your vibration, you know, would you uh, agree with this? <clears throat> I'm getting a no for keys. Um, keys, keys may be the wrong, the wrong word. We know keys is is fitting into a door. Um, light codes don't necessarily open doors. They are more uh, compare light codes more to moving down like a tunnel. They create all different tunnels to all different times and spaces. There is certainly no doors in place that need unlocking. They are all already unlocked. You just need to find the right tunnel and walk down it. Excellent. So now we're coming to the end and the juicy part of our session, I would say, um, you know, where you actually bring in, you know, the most potent light codes. You know, we ask that the most qualified beings, you know, come in, you know, to bring us light codes, you know, to connect us to the earth and then other aspects of ourselves. Um, you will be, you know, we will be editing, you know, from your previous channeling, you know, explanations about these codes. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the entities that are coming in and doing the light language or bringing in the codes, we like to identify them, you know, which race and which dimension on the 12th dimensional universe they're coming from. And of course, we want to have them screened by Archangel Michael security, by Lord Shiva security and by your high self and my high self too. Amen, amen, amen. So it is, so that's how you do security. <laughs> <laughs> So let's have a light language that clears, you know, our connection, you know, with our Earth, you know, the Earth codes. So the first light code type that we are bringing you, dear ones, is of the Earth, of this beautiful Earth you see around you. Mother Earth is so beautiful and he, she has so much to offer you. Um, you humans have only scratched the surface on what is possible within nature and with the magic of nature, with the magic of trees, the spirit of trees, the spirit of mushrooms. Uh, many people are um, just finding out the power of the fungi that runs along your energy systems, that runs along the energy systems of the earth your scientists are only scratching the surface psychics are only scratching the surface it's a very very exciting time dear ones to be connecting with this earth to be fully understanding finally what this earth can do it's been many many thousands of years that the earth's energy has been depleting and depleting and depleting over time and we know that you can feel it because your energy has been depleting and depleting and depleting also over time you have been suffering dear ones you have all had so much
much suffering. And now is the time on the earth where the energy starts to be revived, where we help the energy be revived. The light codes from the earth can finally be connected with and received again to help you raise your own vibrations, to help you raise the vibrations of this earth space in this time space reality. Earth codes are there for you to connect with Mother Earth more fully. You can receive these through your feet when you walk barefoot. You can receive them in meditation, um, visualization and growing your roots down into the earth. Imagine drawing up these light codes through every part of your being. Uh, You can do this at any time. You do not need to be a master of meditation. You do not need to be trained in such things. You can just you can just ask and, and they come forwards, these beautiful light codes into every area of your body. If you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, a little bit alone, a little bit scared, then earth codes are there to help you. They can help you ground and they can help you get rid of so-called anxiety, especially when you are feeling alone, dear ones. Light codes are very helpful for when you are feeling alone. Both light codes of the earth and light codes of the soul are perfect for when you feel like you are alone, sitting alone in your house, on your social media and buried in your phones, buried in screens, feeling a little bit connected yet you're also a little bit alone. This can help you. These light codes can help you with this. We will move on. We would just like to let you know that there is no, uh, again, as we mentioned, there is infinite types. So Natalie's light codes of the earth may come through different today as they would come through on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And they may come through different as they would come through to you. But we are just giving you the light codes within this now that uh, represent uh, the connection with the earth and will help you connect with the earth in any time space that you listen to this recording. Okay. 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 Yarato Kuliana Yata Yawe Yorate Yawa Yane Yo Kuliara Tua Ye Yo 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 Kuliato Aya Kuliato Ayare Ya Kuliato Ayare Ya Ye Yo Yo Kuliatara no ne ya tu ikia, kuliatu a tu e ya ue ya ue yo. Let's ask, is this an incarnation from you? Yes or no? <laughs> Excuse me, I just dribbled a bit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, it is. Mm. It is. Uh, you know that so there is um just for people listening who don't know about our session the session that I did another session I did with Wolfgang where I was singing um something for the heart and it was that African lady that you felt come through it's her husband um so they're both past incarnations of me that's him <coughs> okay. okay and uh, the last on which dimension are they residing at this moment <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? His his name oh, is Mudru. It's, it's Mudru. <laughs> Mudru is a vulgar name. And uh, is he on the astral plane or is he on a higher dimension, fifth dimension, sixth dimension? What, what is his favorite dimension right now? Mm. What Four. is it? Fourth Four. dimension. Very like low and earthly. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now let's ask the, to bring in light language, you know, for, or codes, light codes for the soul connection. So the next one, which is the soul, 
<laughs> light codes of the soul are very, very beautiful light codes. They, we want to, to smile when you think of these light codes. Your soul is so infinite. It is something that, again, is only the knowledge of the soul is only scratched the surface by humans. We cannot begin to explain to you how infinite your soul is, how large, how vast. Think of your soul like the universe around you. Think of your soul as your own magnetic impulse that draws others to you, draws others that share the same soul, the same life mission, the same goals, the same energy, the same smiles. So connecting with your soul codes helps you connect with your own soul, connect with your innermost being. It can help you with things like ancestral trauma. It can help you with things that have carried through, such as uh, ghosts and spirits. Um, so this is the uh, as Natalie discovered and wanted to ask, this is the, when you say soul codes, they are coming through, they can release spirits. So these are spirits, dear ones, that have been with your souls for many, many, many incarnations. They may be of you or another in a past life. You may have taken them from other dimensions. And there's many, many, many within you now. There is no need to fear them. Uh, spirits are part of everyone, but sometimes they need to be released. And these soul codes are a way that they can be released. And there is many, many places that you can then learn to help them are incarnate uh, and and move on where they need to be the other element of the soul codes is of course drawing people to you people that also share your same or similar soul codes sorry i'm just asking them a question about that um i just wanted to know if they're if people have the same soul codes um, no, soul codes are infinitely different, but you can find so soul codes that fit within each other like puzzle pieces. This is your so-called soul family. So imagine, if you will, soul codes all in a row. And when you find someone with your soul family, they fit perfectly like a puzzle and make the energy bigger. Every time you meet one of your soul family, your energy expands, your light expands, the light codes get stronger, your mission gets stronger. <clears throat> So you can use soul light codes to connect not just with your soul family, but all those other lost souls out there that may be of your same past incarnation of your same race. They may have incarnated with you in some other dimension or just other people that resonate on your same frequency that may be on your same mission in life. Thank you. Mm. Kali kali ato yata ni o yata yalo ni a la ti yalo to ka yata yata na la ti o yata yalo te ayo yata ille no yata ya o yata yali yato yata to yata yato yata li a o yata ya o la yata ya 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 o ta ya o yato yato ya la ya to i ya la lo lo ya yo ya la la li a o la li a o ya la la ya lo la li a ya lo li a lo ya lo la o la li o ya ya la li a o la i o i la ya lo li a yo i ya la very happy very joyful oh, <laughs> oh my cheeks hurt <laughs> This is love coming out there, you know, so, so so pure. So I felt like I was sitting. It was kind of a low. It was like a cross between a lotus and a daff. What are those? A buttercup. Uh, it was a. It was a big buttercup flower. A big yellow buttercup that went. Literally, I felt like I was holding it here as I was doing that. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, they show buttercup type of lotuses in Hindu <laughs> iconography. Oh. I have to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, now ask, um, was this an aspect of yourself? Yes. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. from which time period in human time? Uh, Vedic times, not Atlantean times, not human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Nope. Which dimension? The ninth. Okay, yeah, oh. nice, wonderful I consciousness. Let's see. They're just showing me like a like a gold. So it looks like a it's a planet and it's like a goldy color. My third eye is really hurting. Um, they're showing me lots of. They're showing me like the surface of the planet. 
can I have a name of who this is? No, they said you're not ready. Oh, another one that I'm not ready for, apparently. Um, right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> if I'm thank not ready, you. I'm not going to poke. <laughs> oh, interesting. Mm. Yeah, we don't want you to burn up. <laughs> My poor little human struggles to catch up with all of this stuff. <laughs> So the next one would be, you know, um, the light uh, language and uh, up codes to connect, you know, with the spirit, the higher energies, uplifting your energies and vibration. Let's okay. do that. Good one. Okay. Uh, so light language of the spirit, please. <clears throat> yeah, it's all codes of the spirit. They're just showing me this beautiful ball of energy. <laughs> That's because you are a beautiful ball of energy. You are all a beautiful ball of energy within this human form. Your spirit is so beautiful and so unique. And it is the energetic body that you carry around with you that is not seen by the naked eye. So therefore, bringing through light codes into the spirit is a way to elevate your vibrations, not just for yourself, but so that you can expand them out into the world, much like Natalie did last week with the... Um, with the meditation that expanded out energy and joy and love. You can do this with light codes, dear ones. You have to bring them in. You can bring them through, whether you are channeling or just asking for them to come through or listening to them from other people. You bring them through into your energy and this beautiful light. You can even imagine this beautiful light in your mind's eye as a visualization, visualization if you like to. Imagine this beautiful light emanating out of you, connecting you with all of the energies of the universe and when you are full up enough it naturally expands and spreads out throughout the world so raising the vibration of the planet by raising the vibration of yourself this is the primary function of light codes of the spirit you will hear a lot of people on earth already talking these light codes of the spirit and tapping into these with not much clue what they're doing, but they're doing a lovely job of spreading all of the light uh, that we are sending throughout this planet. And we are very grateful for those. Again, anyone who is watching this, who is spreading their light language, we encourage you to ask where it comes from and to ask what purpose it is, perhaps what type you are using, but also we encourage you to do it more, you to be seen more, to do it more, shout it, <laughs> shout it out loud, shout it to the heavens, for you are spreading so much light. <laughs> I speak most. That's the one that comes through just when I'm around the house. That's just that's literally my spirit talking. <laughs> my hairs are standing on end. Yeah, that's my energy. That is. <laughs> She reminds me of uh, the supreme being, um, you know, from the fifth element. Oh, you know, yes. Yeah. Spark your little. Nilu. Yeah, that's how I feel. I always yeah. feel a bit. I also always feel a little bit Spanish when I when I um. It's not. It's not from anyone Spanish. It's from it's me. But the, some of the words, um, when I'm just that's the one that I just talk. I'm in my car. I'm talking it. I'm around the house. I'm talking it. Um, and a lot of the words sometimes come through. They sound slightly Spanish. They have that energy about them as well yeah this, this harder energy mm -hmm. and now ask um you know from which dimension is this aspect of you coming <laughs> it's like straddling fourth and fifth mm -hmm. in between <laughs> it's like <laughs> they're showing like almost like a bridge they said you're not you're not quite oh it's because it's me they're saying you're not quite in fifth yet it's my it's my spirit mm -hmm. mm. And uh, is this a kind of, uh, is this based on a certain language, like sounds, you know, I, I hear this language also coming through others quite often, I think. Is this a t certain type of language that you could put a name on? It's the oldest language that predates language. <laughs> okay, 
so it's one of the original of the root languages? Yes, it's the root. The root language, yeah, okay. It's yeah, I recognize it. <laughs> Um, now let's ask about, you know, uh, the codes that will connect you or that will connect most people that will listen to this to their past incarnations, you know, open these lessons up. So light codes, just to, uh, did I get me to clarify again? So um, light codes of the past are ones that we bring through, for example, from past incarnations um, or from uh, like energies of the past. And it will be different to me doing light language now to connect people with the ability of delving into their past. But we're going to go for the one that connects with people again. <laughs> Helps them to connect to their past. Yeah. You know, you're opening the gateways here. So these are these are another type of soul codes rather than light codes of the past. But they will help people connect further with their soul so they connect with past incarnations of themselves and also explore history so they the Lemurians said um, I'm sure you'll edit it in about us needing to get rid of our dusty books and looking into the soul if we want to know what really happened which I think is fantastic <laughs> yeah that's why we do all the past life regressions right we did quite a lot of past life regressions yeah. you know well, liberates you, past life regressions on me than any book <laughs> Right, let's see. Okay, so can we please have light language to connect people with their past? Oh, my eyebrows are hurting, excuse me. Light codes, um, light codes of the past. This is how you are able to tap into past incarnations and past aspects of your light self and bring through light codes. These light codes can come through as information. They can come through information about trauma, about incidences in the past from which you need to be aware because they are bringing through something important into this life that you need to learn or learn from, something that you need to grow into or grow from. Um, these realizations may come through as just psychic messages, psychic images. Images, but we assure you that they all carry light codes. They carry light codes with them from the past. Um, you may ask to connect with a past incarnation or a spirit guide. Um, we would like to inform you, dear ones, uh, as <laughs> something Natalie has wanted to do a video on for a long time, but has not yet. So we will tell you here that a lot of your so-called spirit guides are in fact incarnations of you from past lives and other dimensions that are attached to your soul. This is why they are here to guide you. So it's it is very easy for you to tap into them and ask for light codes to come through. This may come through in the form of light language. It may come through in the form of art. It could channel through into form of very, very specific information about that time. If, into, if history is something you are interested in, dear ones, you can learn about this through light codes. There is no longer so much need for your books, dusty old things. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we do we do we do understand that how much you enjoy reading but there is so much more to be learned from your soul and there is so much more to be learned from these past incarnations and these past light codes and they will become accessible to everyone so if you are someone who is really wanting to connect with past incarnations and past light codes and are not yet able to please do not worry in the future everyone will be able to tap into these it's just a matter of patience divine timing and being patient with your human self being patient with your soul's evolution some people have more things to work through than others to in order to open up their psychic channel but we promise you you will get there those of you who desire it and are drawn to it you will get there <clears throat> Thank you. Mm, ooh, hello. I can see like a dragon, like horns. My skin feels weird. I'll put a violet light on it. It's violet dark. Light. Violet light. <laughs> Is the dragon still there? Yeah. Does he like it? Bathing in it, yeah. Then it's a cool guy. Run some love on him. See if less love coming back. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, dear. Okay, this is definitely a new one because it. Whenever something new comes through my physical mouth and throat, try and work out how to do it. <laughs> They're checking into your communication systems. <laughs> <coughs> Tuka, 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 tuka
tuka uza kata 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 Tia kata tatura ma uta ya taka taka tu ya taka renta isi ya karono mono mo kata ya wa tika rai katu tu ya wa tia ru tika ramo no no na kita ya 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 ya. The kitchen time is going. <laughs> God, am I red? I feel really hot. That was. That was, I literally in my head, I really, really wanted to stomp then. Like, I feel like I needed to, you know how they do around the fire, like, uh, uh, or bang a drum or something. Whoa, I'm going to be playing around with that one in my own time. <laughs> Nearly pushed my necklaces into my chest. <laughs> Lucky it's like they, they, try, yeah. they couldn't find a, it, it. That one needs to be with some sort of stomping or a drum it's like they couldn't they were trying to get a rhythm on me and they couldn't get it uh deep or primal enough i know this this one is good when you don't have necklaces on uh <laughs> it's like it wasn't getting deep enough it needed to be like yeah on the floor or a drum or something that was yeah <laughs> that was a fun one though apart from the punching <laughs> <laughs> so, so us um where is this an aspect of yourself i've got the word aborigine this was Aborigine. Um, which continent? Australia. Uh, yeah, I've been working a lot with Australian Aborigines. Mm -hmm. Why, is Why was the uh, dragon there? <laughs> can, can we ask? <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ask. Let's ask. Uh, what was the dragon? The dragon was holding, uh, dragon was holding the space for me. It's just one of, one of my guides. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is holding space. Guarding, guarding the tunnel. Oh, okay. So you know how that uh, one, I don't, the Arcturians, Lemurians, someone a minute ago said about that it's like tunnels that they travel through. The light codes that's come through before of like it, the actual light codes almost create things that you can travel down. And um, it was like the dragon was protecting that tunnel so that I could pull it through. Hmm? That was. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> yeah, dragons make awesome protectors. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, okay, let's hook up, um, you know, the codes, the light codes uh, for the future to bring in the future into, the, you know, the presence, you know, for faster manifestation, you know, of the highest good from this incarnation. Okay, so let's have... <clears throat> so... We'll uh, go for light language that people can listen to um, that will help them with whatever they're manifesting, yeah? Mm -hmm. so, so to help to open this these channels so they can bring in these kind of light codes mm -hmm. to manifest the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so light codes of the future. We already spoke about these uh, in a past transmission. It, excuse me. We channeled through the information uh, through to the Arcturians uh, and they uh, graciously spoke on our behalf about the powers of manifestation and how some of you humans have been getting it wrong for quite a long time. Uh, not getting it wrong. We correct ourselves. Oh, we we are we just know that there are better ways of doing things, sometimes more efficient ways that we would like to pass through to you. We, of course, do not think that anything is wrong in the way that you do things, but you do like to make things difficult for yourself. So with regards to manifesting and creating the world that you want to live in, this is where future light codes come in. So light codes of the future, we can use them to manifest in by thinking of the thing that we would like to manifest and imagining sending light codes right out to that thing and pulling it into us just like Spider-Man. Uh, and also we can think about sending out uh, light codes into a possible future that we would like to create. So if you would like to change something within the world, if there is something big that you have the mission within yourself that you would like to change, you can ask to use these future light codes, tap into these future light codes. Again, whether, whether it is 
psychic messages, whether it's writing, whether it's light language, we do love it when you speak light language, or whether it is singing, maybe it's artwork, bring these light codes through and imagine projecting them into the future. Picture the future that you desire for yourself, for the collective, for the planet, maybe for other dimensions, I don't know, but please send it out, send the future light codes, and it will help you carve a path. You will be able to then travel along the path that those light codes have created and move into a better future. Of course, if you are trying to do something very, very good, like end uh, world war or world famine, this is going to require something that is a lot more than just you, uh, uh, dear ones. This is when the collective comes into play, which we will talk to after the self, because as you know, Natalie likes lists and she would like everything in order, uh, uh, which, which is fine, which is agreeable. So light codes of the future, making sure that you send out your light codes into the future to create the future that you like. And this is something that you can collaborate on. Mm -hmm. Manifestation light codes, please, to help people connect with these light codes of the future. <clears throat> oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> oh. I'm like, well, oh, hello. <laughs> like those slow lorises when you when they're <laughs> under threat, they go up. Oh, oh, I don't know why we're up here. Put your lung chakras. I thought my voice wasn't going to hold out then. <laughs> I was like, they were taking me pretty high. I could feel they were trying to get me to go higher. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like heads being pulled up here, like, come on. <laughs> I should probably start working on my pitch if they're going to want me to go there. With the with the throat singing there, it's good for my vocal range for singing because the, the throat singing there, it get me to go so low. And then when I get that, that felt a lot like angel energy. Um, it was like when the angel energy stuff comes through and higher dimensionals and they get me to go all up here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my voice. <laughs> it, it activates the higher energy systems. You know, mm. this, you know, this all goes, ah, you know, this all goes, you know, purifies the upper chakras. You know, the, uh, you can lay this down, but Tibetans yeah. also lay this up here like, no, anyhow. Um, I how to do it on command, man. I, I haven't, since we did that one session, haven't been able to do it properly. <laughs> Very frustrating. <laughs> I'll learn. <laughs> you can do that. Well, there is still uh, some left here. <laughs> so uh, we brought in the future now. And uh, yeah, let's ask, you know, from which, um, was this an aspect of you? No. Uh -huh. So who was coming in with this beautiful uh, energy? Ask, please. The, the angels of manifestation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And on which uh, dimension do they reside? Twelfth? Yeah, right next to source. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My higher self's nodding. I'm like, really? My higher self's like, uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're holding space here. <laughs> <laughs> you hook you up. <laughs> yeah, right. No wonder I've had so much of the 
so much of my own lower vibrational stuff clearing recently is because I'm going all the way up there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, it's like a balloon. You've got to drop the ballast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <You> know, then <laughs> there you go. All right. So then uh, the next one is about the self, you know, healing the self. Um, purifying the self and so we want to ask do we want to open for the people that listen to this open their own ability to access those codes for themselves uh -huh. okay so like codes of the self please Light codes of the self is how we help you heal your physical body. These light codes are the light codes that you are born with. They are embedded in every level of your being. These are the ones that are most accessible, dear ones. So those of you that may have started uh, talking a little bit of light language and it seems to come through so naturally, you're doing it around the house, you're so singing and talking away to yourself like a bungee. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> These are the... These are the light codes of the self, and they will have a very, very healing impact on you. They also help raise your vibrations, just as the future, the, the light codes of the spirit do. But the light codes of the self help on a much more physical level. Therefore, if you have a physical illness or injury that you are struggling with or something that you would like to release, you can ask for the future for the light codes of the self. Excuse me, we keep saying future. We get our, our words and the model. We're very excited today, and we know that. Natalie does not want to be channeling for much longer as she is feeling uh, a little unwell in her physical body. Um, but light codes of the self, you may use these in a meditation to send them. Let's say you ha might have a nail in your foot. I don't know why you might have a nail in your foot, but <laughs> that's what popped into Natalie's head and we're going to use it. Uh, so imagine you have a nail in your foot, dear ones, and you take the nail out and you have a lot of pain left. You can sit there and place your hands over and ask for light codes of the self to come through. Again, talking light language, singing light language, the power of sound is so, so, so amazing. The vibrations will actually help this area begin to heal just as you know energy healing and uh, so-called reiki um, coming from the hands into the physical body you can also do this with light codes simply by intention of wanting these light codes to move into the area that is causing you pain you can of course do a meditation technique with this where you ask for light codes to fill into every area of your body especially where there is pain and release anything that you do not want back down into the earth but these are light codes of the self. So helping you heal your physical body on all levels. So this one, um, they're saying that this one, what I'm going to bring through, isn't just going to help people activate their own light language, but it will also help to activate and open up their um, psychic channel, their connection with high self, all of that, because it's this, they're saying it's the same thing uh, where the self light language comes from. <coughs> get a, a triple whammy in there <laughs> okay yes please can we send this through oh hello mm -hmm. Just saw, literally saw a monkey then and felt the need to go like oh <laughs> yeah you're not you're tight <laughs> no, you're not you're like mm. oh, God. oh my goodness they get me to do some funny things All right let's see <laughs> so my neck is moving mm -hmm. thank you Kutala that was three different beings at once. Yeah. That was why it was, it was like, <laughs> that was like, it was like they were taking it in turns to clear different bits. So the the thing that was sounding like the monkey at the beginning, it was like clearing out the really dense energies. 
and then the whatever the the, the fast little bit in the middle I saw like a, it was almost like a chimney and I was sweeping out the chimney with that. And then the the high bit at the end was the the connection part. It was like, uh, I, I saw uh, like, you know, when you build a tent, oh, they send me the most ridiculous analogies. You know, when you're building a tent and you have to put the inner bit of the tent and you hook it up, it was the hookup. <laughs> so they were literally just showing me the the top bit. We, we're clearing the density with the ooh, ooh, ooh. And then you're you're sweeping the chimney and then you are hooking it up so that you then have a, a slide almost to connect with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is normal technology. Let's say before we do our sessions, you know, we ground, you know, and you start running earth love into the heavens, you know, and this gets all cleared. So this is the same thing. It's just a little different. So let's ask. So this uh, monkey aspect, is this an aspect of you? Yes or no? No. Uh -huh. yeah. Is this uh, one of those beings um, like Hanuman, you know, a Yeti? Um, yeah. Is this Yeti or is this the race of, let's say, Hanuman? Is this Yeti? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, Yeti? Uh, I didn't even. Oh. <laughs> Every time I have a session with you, at least I'm, I'm like, really, is that a thing now, too? <laughs> Oh dear, so much discovery for my human brain. Our minds go where few minds have gone before. <laughs> well, you can't, the thing is though, when, I mean, if someone just told me that yetis were real, I'd be like, come on, you're an idiot. But when it comes through to you and you're asking your higher self and you're getting a yes, you can't really deny it, can you? <laughs> oh no, no, dear. No. Channeling a Yeti, fantastic. I'll add that to my list of skills. <laughs> now, let's see. So this Yeti came in there. So this is uh, probably a special one. Is this, let's see, it was this actually Hanuman? Yes or no? No. Does he work in general with the humans? This, the whoever I'm channeling. Well, the, yeah, the one that came through. Mm -hmm. This dense energy. Can you come in front of me, please? Thank you. Do you work with the humans? Oh, he looks like a woolly thing. Mm -hmm. like Send some love. Yeah. Looks like a yeti crab, but it, but <laughs> like mm -hmm. blonde and woolly. Um, do you work with the humans? Not often. Mm -hmm. So what kind of humans does he like to work with? <laughs> me. He's pointing at me. Why, why you? <laughs> <laughs> why me? No. We're connected. He's showing me. He's showing me strings of energy. He's showing me. He's like showing me a vision of like a village. Native Americans. Native Americans. Yes. He's showing me a vision of a Native American village um, that I'm connected to. And he worked with that village. So that's why we have it's like a little tiny thread between our hearts. Were you like uh, the contact person? Like the shaman woman, or she that would go to the forest and hang out with it. One of them, me and my sister. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so send him a lot of love. You know, just send him a lot of love. He's like, can I go now? <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. So we didn't want to. <laughs> yes, thank you for coming. Hey, I got the impression. You know, when you disturb someone and they can't really be asked. <laughs> I got the impression that he's like, I gave you the gift now. Now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've never had that before. Normally they're just they're just there. <laughs> oh, funny energy. Cool. It matched the noise actually. The the energy or the feeling that I got when I was doing the noise. It very much matched the energy of the being. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So the last one here is the, the light codes, you know, to connect with the collective, you know, this common karma, you know, of human consciousness. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not a human, you know, you're not a human, we're just consciousness residing in the human body right now. But, to, you know, so the light codes that will connect us to the light codes of the collective and, you know, use them for the highest good. Amen. So, <laughs> amen to that. They're wanting me to explain again that the the light codes we're about to do, the type of them is light codes of the soul, but they're to co connect with the collective. The light codes of the collective, they found it 
quite difficult to explain to me um you'll see on the video like fully what they were but it was when people would get together so say um myself and you and someone else all got together and did light codes of the soul it's like they form a new type of energy and it's specifically when people are doing them together um so i'll we'll have to try that out at some point get some other <laughs> light code people together and do light codes of the collective but we will do some light codes that have to help people connect with the collective energy now is this from lemuria yes okay they're bringing through some lemurian which is why my hands are going crazy Mundia <laughs> Mua, 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 i mi ato mai ato o mai ara te gara mu, i ti a mu na ya, u mu 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 mu, i a mu ma i ara mu ya, i a mu ma i a mu, i a mu 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 mu, i a mu 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 ya ara te, u si ara tu te a mu, i a tu ya mu te ara te a ko a ya te. Big swirl yeah. energy while they were doing that. And then the, right at the end, I saw it, the most random thing. It was a gold encrusted elephant with a ruby in its eye. And any, is that any sort of sim, symbology you know, Wolfgang? <laughs> Very strange. Well, uh, in my room appeared, it's a curtain that is not hanging up right now. Um, you know, it's when I close my windows, it's an elephant appeared in my life. Of course, I work a lot with Lord Ganesh. Elephant means, you know, strength, playfulness, I would say, you know, wisdom. You know, it's a very smart animal, very playful, yeah. always swinging. <laughs> They're like jazz musicians, you know, always <laughs> swinging. They can play the trumpet, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and uh, well asked, you know, is this, um, you know, what does the elephant have to do with this? You know? Oh, it's a gift. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, of gifts, you know, they work in certain ways, you know, so let's have this gift explained to you. Mm -hmm. It's a gift to remind me of my sovereignty. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's, a, it's, a, it's gratitude for me choosing to let them in because they know how uh, how scared I was for quite a while about channeling and trance channeling and all of that. So it's like a little uh, a reminder that I still have my sovereignty and that I did choose this and also thank you for choosing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sovereignty. <laughs> so our sovereignty, uh, let's put this as a top candy here. That's the sherry on top. <laughs> uh -huh. Our sovereignty has been taken in so many ways. We've given it away so many times to different organizations, whether it's military or brotherhoods or sisterhoods or convents, <laughs> some kind of club, <laughs> right? Yep. They always want to have our energy, you know, and um, and so uh, we would like to have light codes, you know, that you know clear those contracts, you know, this um, you know helps us bring those energies or sovereignty that we've given away you know, um, back to us you know, if you could please do so got chill and i'm sure it's because they want me to put on the yellow jumper for this bit <laughs> there we go uh, oh, oh that's much better yeah I, I get called energy too i think there is resistance is there now uh -huh. somebody is sucking out the energy so we asked our spirit guides to come in we asked the unicorns to surround us in all corners and all sides and we asked the special teams to take those to the, you know, those attackers to the obsidian temples, um, um, and, um, and you know, give them a little education. Then um, it's getting hot again. To get on my comfortable temperature now, my hands are freezing, my body's hot, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Right. Let's see. So, so light language to help people reclaim their sovereignty, right? Mm -hmm. 
umana putura tua, umana putura, ukiaro tu umana putura, itiaro tu tiara, reatore atomaya, itiaro tiakutu tu mana, upata, 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 umana turato, umana turato, umana turato, uparata, 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 umana putura, umana putura, umana putura, kaya to ziakarano, itiatu tu 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 tu, umana natura ta yeo la lioto ina no 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 ya to ria tu ya elia 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 kola elia elia kola elia elia umanoptura ira tira umanoptura umanoptura kilia tilia tula kilia te umanoptura ya litio That, vortex going. <laughs> that was something to do with the sun. So that, as I was saying that, um, whatever u, uma naptura is, they're saying that that just that word, that sound, is something that other people can uh, say. Uma naptura, uma naptura, uma naptura. It's almost like a, I guess, like a chant or a something that you can repeat that connects you with the sun and with your sovereignty. Hmm? It feels Egyptian. It feels very Egyptian. Yeah, let's ask, um, you know, who was coming in there? Was this an aspect of you? Yes or no? This is an aspect of me. Nope. <laughs> okay. Then who did it? So who came in? I keep getting, let me just, is this Ra? No. I keep getting Ra because I channeled Ra the other day. Um, and I saw the same sun. It's um, what is this please? It's just this. This the sun. Yeah. Nope. It's, it's like they're just showing me pictures, not telling me where does this come from. Where does this come from? This is Surya. Who? Surya. The name is Surya, like Surya Namskara. Yep. That that got a that got a yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is uh, considered the sun god. You know the consciousness of the sun. Well, I mean, we're doing all the heavy hitters today. I'm probably going to sleep for a week after this. <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, uh, coming through. You know, this is uh, part of how we do things. <laughs> you know, they, they get you uh, right to the CEOs here, to the big bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we think, um, you know, I mean, every day I connect my clients, you know, to the sun. You know, this is part of my routine. So, you know, there's familiarity there. You know, you get you get hooked up, you know, you get initiated, you get introduced. And this is not the first lifetime, you know, you're doing this. You know, so we really... <laughs> it's taken me a little while to remember. Actually, it hasn't taken me that long. <laughs> <laughs> they fast track me in this one. Let's go. Come on, you have a job to do. Shoo shoo. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's get you souped up so you don't have to sleep for a week. Right. <laughs> so just really root into the earth. Mm -hmm. You sit in cross legged. Yeah, so let those um, roots, you know, go from your thighs, and your root chakra go deep in and imagine a kind of like a pyramid. You know, the roots go in the form of a pyramid. You're the tip of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. And uh, you ask that any resistances in your legs, in, in your root chakra, in your grounding, you know, be cleared, whether it's curses, trauma, whatever it is, clear, 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 clear. Mm -hmm. and, and here we go, right? And maybe you can even bring in <laughs> a light language for grounding and clearing, but you know <laughs> my eyes i was like you are done <laughs> right so done. let's just let's just uh, ground you here <laughs> and imagine your root chakra is like one of those rocket you know from nasa mm -hmm. and you just yeah here we go and you ask the Mother Earth to send you a lot of love and charge up your body again, your batteries. Mm 
Yeah, and while you're connecting, um, so this is about it. Uh, dear friends, um, Natty um, gives private session. You can contact her. You know, the information is below and also in the comments. You know, in Show More, you can find all the contact information. Um, I also do sessions, you know, similar stuff that we just did. And, um, well, you know, do the likes and the subscribes and do your comments. Um, especially let us know if you got triggered in some way, if you have any good effects. You know, we love you. Namaste. Thank you.